rings. She is all pulled open. There's two giant rings, one on each labia. Okay. And they're clipped onto like garter belts or something. Like they're clipped onto <coughs> something and they're just cranking her wide open. Mm. But not but only that. There's more. There is more. Her cervix is poking out as a give a little hello, winky wink. And she's getting sounded in her cervix. I will make this larger uh, oh, and show it to you. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I kind of want to stick my dick in there though. Come on! The weekend has landed. All that exists now is clubs, drugs, pubs, and parties. I've got 48 hours off from the world, man. I'm going to blow steam out of my head like a screaming kettle. I'm going to talk cod shit to strangers all night. I'm going to lose the plot on the dance floor. The free radicals inside me are freaking, man. Tonight I'm Chip Travolta. I'm Peter Popper. I'm going to never, never land with my chosen family, man. We're going to get more spaced out than Neil Armstrong ever did. Anything could happen tonight, you know? This could be the best night of my life. I've got 73 quid in my back burner. I'm going to watch the lot, man. The milky bars are on me! And now, live from Rule 34 Studio, I bring you a girl that recommends sitting open-faced on a large speaker at least once in your life. Oh, yeah. Here she is, <laughs> your host, the one, the only, Kinky Kitty. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. Oh, this is Kinky Katie's world number 398. I am your host, Kinky Katie, and with me, as always, is the hardest working man, my favorite flesh crab fuck toy, Mr. SC. Okay. How are you? Sure. <laughs> we are coming to you live from Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKatieRadio.com, and RadioCast.net. I think we got some fun show for you tonight. Do you? I okay. think so. I think we. I think we have a lot to talk about. And um, as I said in the pre-show, I am more coherent and got my my shit together more tonight than I did on the last show. So you feel more together. I do. I feel more together. You did not have your shit together last week. No, you were fine. I was just way too prepped up. I think. Uh, okay, never well, that happens. Well, to you. and I got distracted because my microphone, like I my headphones. Still. Yeah, you you were disfuddled. I was. I was called confuddled, and I was having some issues. Right. So. You're fine now. <laughs> You're okay. Sure. <laughs> We're great. <laughs> right. Apparently, I don't know how to take care of myself either. I'm a 42-year-old woman who um, doesn't realize that she's dehydrated. <laughs> well, I, there's you need to eat something. You need to drink fluids. It's like... I'm gonna die. No, you're not. Right. You're fine. Well, you, you were you were sitting on the couch and you're like, you know, I have this this headache. I don't know if it's gone away. I was like, what what, what have you eaten today? What what have you drank? Well, I had a cup of coffee, and I did eat, uh, but I have a cup of coffee and and a, a soda. I had half, well, half a soda and okay. half a cup of coffee. <laughs> you got a headache. You start with the basics. Do you, have you eaten? Do you, have you drank regular fluid recently? <laughs> if the answer is no, try that first and go from there. And sure enough, you had a, had a glass had a glass of water, and you were like, hey, "I feel a lot better." I do. <laughs> it's a miracle. So yeah, so I've been I've been trying to stay away from the caffeine now for yeah. the rest of the day, and just kind of keep pumping in fluids because I've, I've been working on my medical ninjutsu ninjutsu. Well, I'm just I'm just saying that um, you know I'm glad like I had COVID, but it's over. But then. You know, people are telling me that what the hell's going on with me is normal. I've been like no energy at all. I'm like I'm dying. Right. And, but I'm like whatever. You didn't get terribly sick to begin with. No, I didn't. And yet, yeah. Well, I didn't. Part, it's part of the gig, yo. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. All right. Well, enough of that. That stuff. No one gives a shit about. We're not talking about that stuff. So I ran across a product that um, definitely does not work. Right. Okay. I don't even have to try it to know because all this shit's hooey anyway. It's all hooey. Um, all a bunch of hooey. If you guys have heard of Spanish Fly, right. stuff's been around forever. Uh, people swear by it that it works. We we even like sold it's out oh, sugar water. You know, you whatever. Got the, you got the bottle. We got the cup. Kind of that. Come on, everybody. Let's get brass monkey. Dun, dun, dun. Apple, apple. So every time I hear Spanish fly, I hear the Beastie Boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> brass monkey. Anyway. Anyway, so there's this product and it comes in a dropper bottle and you get two of them, two bottles for a hundred bucks, so 50 bucks a piece. It's called African fly. Well, it is. It's the African fly. So. You get malaria when you a, take it. It's, a li- <laughs> it's literally an African fly. 
It's a it's a liquid aphrodisiac, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, you're supposed to take it. It says, African fly has given men and women better sex life for over 19 years. 19 years. It'll, it's gonna, it'll work for you, and you'll absolutely love it. Right. Which I think right. is funny, because right there on the front page, the, uh, <laughs> the very first... Um, comment, like review was one star and it says, it's not working. <laughs> I've used this for several months and I tried to give it a shot and the results are, at, are, are not advertised. You're kidding. Yeah. You're kidding. I'm totally shocked. Yeah. I'm totally shocked that somebody actually clicked on that and said, yeah, I'll, I'm going to take three months supply. Can I have about, about two dozen of them? You know, I really want to make sure that you rip me off good. You, you know, I don't want to make it minor. You got to take me for at least a, a grand. At least, uh, yeah, you know, probably second me people's uh, like stockings. Like Christmas, like here, try this, right? Get you late this Christmas, right? Whatever. I wonder if the people who bought it were like older, and because do, do, you know, has a Zoomer ever heard of the term Spanish fly? Like, is that a, even a thing for some people? I don't know. You know? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that sound that does sound a little. It's, a little it's weird, an old but... school kind of a term at this point. I guess so. Really? I mean, people have heard it more from like the whole Cosby situation. You think? Beca- well, yeah, because Cosby had several interviews where he talked about Spanish fly. Oh. So, you know. I thought he was a lewds kind of dude. Yeah, he was. But I'm saying where he was actually talking about Spanish fly, oh. like him himself out of oh. like Bill Cosby's mouth was talking about Spanish fly. Oh. And there were lots of interviews. You know, there was at least one interview. That I can remember where he was talking about, you know, the idea of Spanish fly and whatever it was. And it's just, you know, eerie. Yeah, I, I remember. I think I remember giving when I used to work at uh, the adult store down in Fort Lauderdale. Um, we were always the guinea pig to try everything, all like all the new stuff and shit. Yeah. I remember dosing you once without telling you. Okay. To see if, you know, it did A little anything. experiment. Yeah. Okay. And so I don't Sounds know if, safe. well, I don't know if I didn't give you enough. <laughs> or <just> didn't care. <laughs> didn't care. Didn't care. <laughs> yeah. Didn't ask. <laughs> don't care. So, and I mean, you're, you're right. fine. But, I mean, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But no, I'm but, sure I'm, a, I'm fine. But no, right. it didn't work and I didn't expect it to because it's, that's not, <laughs> it's not real. Well, you know, there but was. There's some people that believe it. There was the, the one time when one of those uh, dick pills that you brought home from the, from the porn store, like it actually was Cialis and it did. Oh yeah. It really did work. Oh yeah. And it was just a, C- a generic Cialis. It was, and it, I, oh God, I forget what the name of it was. So do I. But it was, it was, it was orange. Soon taken off the shelf, and then we read that it was mm-hmm. because, yeah, no. They, they got sued. Well, yeah, because they were putting out Cialis. Right. In porn stores. Yeah. But that stuff was great. <laughs> I fucking love that stuff. But then you'd, you'd, <laughs> I'd lay it on the couch, just tired, done. You'd walk over, smack me on the face with your hard cock, and be like, you did this. That's right. You, you gotta take, take care of it. That's right. You better do something. That's right. This is, this You is, committed to this, and you said beforehand, oh, yeah, I'm all over it. Okay, sure you are. It's like, yeah, until it really gets down to it. And you're like, okay, it's enough. You're like, uh uh-uh. uh. No, <laughs> you're the one that gave me right. the, the. You made me take this. The racehorse you, adrenaline or whatever. You literally made me take it. You were like, hey, baby, it's just be a lot of fun. Come on. Hi, baby. Is that what I no, said? No, you did. You did. It was just like that. <laughs> Hi, baby. Take this. <laughs> Come on now. We had a whole. So take this little little yellow pill. That'll be good. That stone was the was the weirdest one to me. I never wanted to try that one because that seemed really scary. There was this stone. It's called a Jamaican love stone. <laughs> and there was there was a couple men that would come in and always buy them. Okay. And there was little like chunks of rock. And what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to lick or spit into your palm and rub the stone into your palm a little bit, and then use that and then rub that on your dick. And it's supposed to kind of numb your dick well okay okay. i mean it still sounded pretty hokey but there could be something on it that might numb something yeah it's there's probably it's probably a mineral or something inside the stone or you know could be just a chunk of dry chemicals that that you're spitting on your hand you're like okay my dick's numb or it could just be like a rock from the local river you know that could be too but but jamaican river rock well but there there was a couple men the older 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 jamaican guys like like guys that might that might be looking for the actual spanish fly who knows well that's what i'm saying older guys yes (laughs) looking for actual you you got any spanish fly in there 
Katie? Well, there were some people. I mean, the worst was when people tried to return sex toys. It's like, oh. Yeah. I didn't open it. Yes, you did. Well, I didn't like it. You used it? Well, just once, twice. It's like, ew. You walked out the door with it. That's that's the whole thing. You're an owner now. Yeah, that's it, dude. That's it's Transaction's done, dude. And I can't believe you're going to come back and, and argue about, you know, people will have a hard time going to a sex store anyway, just asking for this, that, and the other, let alone, I want to return this. It seems bizarre, doesn't it? I just, I just loved the ones where the girls would come back and they go, "It's not big enough." Bigger, it's bigger, bitch. It's like, well, I, you kidding me? We've got, we've got Giganto toys. I mean, t- ooh, which kind of rolls into. I was looking at when I was looking at uh, different kind of porn and stuff today when I was doing some, some um, finishing up prep some research. Yeah, research. Right. I, I was looking at uh, pussy stretching. Okay. I mean, like really big. Well, first when bowling I, balls and shit. Well, first when I put it in, they kept sending me all this stuff for like pregnancy tips and and vaginal dilation, and I'm like, no, I want to see that pussy stretch. You know, just like the prolapse. <laughs> like this is your cervix. You know, kind and of this thing. This is your cervix on drugs. Well, there's even a picture that I have on my notes here. Right. Because mm-hmm. uh, mushroom when, cloud. Well, no. When I when I was thinking about Dick. kind of extreme. <laughs> Always extreme pierce body piercings. Right. How there was a there was this one picture that I saw. A guy had a piercing on his gooch. He had a ring on his gooch, and then he had a Prince Albert on, through the head of his cock, and then his cock was pulled forward. You know, between <coughs> his legs. You know, over the balls between his legs, and then there was a there was like a clip that clipped the two rings together. Right. So it was like, well, this woman was he a Tucker. I mean, did he like tuck for any? You know, maybe he maybe he likes to dress in ladies' clothes and he likes and it's to tuck easier. it up. And he likes and, to tuck it up. Yeah, maybe. Cup. But I'm just saying. Seems like a like a pretty you know me the, hanging stuff on piercings. It just sounds like I'm gonna t- I'm gonna have two piercings get ripped out. <laughs> yeah, not one, one but two. One of them's in the head of my cock, and the other one is between your mm. asshole and your ball sack. Mm. Mm, perfect spot. Just you know. <laughs> you catch the lucky ring on the lucky ring somewhere. You sat open faced on the speaker because some lady on a podcast told you to. I suggest and, you do it, ladies. And you caught your okay. Prince Albert connected to your gooch piercing on the corner of the speaker and just, you know. Ripped it out. Oh. Mm. Sounds like, like, reminds me of a saw trap. There's four people right now going, oh, yeah. No, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh. Yeah. I cannot wait to go get that piercing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weekend, bitches. Let's go do it. <laughs> there we have it. What are you talking about? All right. So send me pictures. <laughs> I, I would love to. I like to see like, anyway. Like a blown out Prince Albert gooch combo. Oh, God. It's kind of like if you put a hot dog in the microwave for too long and, and just goes. Pow! Yeah, nice. <laughs> just Nice. Except for with, you know, piercings and their chuck cock and an asshole. Okay, so <laughs> talking about the pussy stretching and how I got into the picture of the uh, of the Gooch ring prints out. Okay, well you were the, comparing yours to others, or what not, was going on? Not mine. Sure. There's a, there's a pussy stretch open. It's got two <laughs> giant rings. Come on down to the pussy stretch open. Ten thousand dollar champion prize. Who's going to take home the gold? <laughs> okay. She is all pulled open. There's two giant rings, one on each labia. Okay. And they're clipped onto like garter belts or something. Like they're clipped onto <coughs> something and they're just cranking her wide open. Mm. But not but only that. There's more. There is more. Her cervix is poking out as give a little hello, winky wink. And she's getting sounded in her cervix. I will make this larger uh, oh, and show it to you. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, my God. I kind of want to stick my dick in there, though. You want to stick your, just stick your tongue in la, 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 No, la. no, no. My cock, for sure. Dude, it would get lost. What you, whatever. I'm sure I'd figure it out. It'd be, I'm sure I would. Or did you try to cram it in her cervix? I'm not afraid of it. Oh. I might. You're sounding the cervix. I think I could get my dick, dick in there. I could like like direct shoot the egg. Like I could like it would be almost like a shooting gallery. You know, ding, ding, ding. You could even like put it in a straw. Just 
right get it up in there i might actually take out eggs with like spermatozoa a uh, fucking machine gun fire oh see you could you could do that right but then again i mean her her pussy didn't look all that beat up either no it didn't it, lo- it looked pink and put together it, it did. didn't look torn and and meaty. no no it didn't look road no very hard it just looked like you know somebody had a nice clean pussy and they just went and they're like, here, let's remove the traffic cone and take a picture. ka And <laughs> now, look, we're going to shove the sounding spike into your cervix opening. Well, you got to kill the baby somehow. All right. <laughs> At home abortion, kid. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, you, oh, but you could, oh my God, it's right there. You could. It's all in there. Yeah. It's like, just, just right r- there. You go r- in the inner flower and just kind of. A little Q-tip down there or something. They're really soft at that one point. You just go, bah, bah, just like you know, ice pick it. <laughs> no. And then you dilate the cervix and then just pull it out. You end up with Quasimodo coming out in eight months, and you just didn't know. You're like, what's hell happened? Uh, yeah. I stabbed you when you were in Euro. Literally, <laughs> I sucked the tool and gave it a little stir. I kind of whipped the egg a little bit. We have it on video. <laughs> Scrambled your children. I thought you were done. You survived. David is doing so well on Born Up. Wow. <laughs> We're not right people. <laughs> There's something really wrong with us. <laughs> well, you know, you've been, you know, feeding it blood and whatever. I've been watching a lot of Raised by Wolves. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of android raising giant flying worms, androids giving birth. It's a strange concept. Oh, my God. Right. Let's go to my favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. It might not be the porn you would pick. It is the porn Katie would. It's time once again for Katie's porn pick of the week. So my porn pick of the week, um, I've been actually really too tired to think about sexy time. Right. However, you're picking that up from 90 Day Fiance. Sexy time. Oh no, sexy I sexy time. Uh, really? That they say that? Uh huh. That the the one couple. Uh, the the girl oh, go with the, right. the, the Hamza guy. Right, right. Is it sexy time? Oh, God. Yes, I want to make sexy time. Right. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> well, where you're getting that from, by the I way. Like, I like fat women. Wait. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, well, my uh, my nipples have been really sensitive. They have. They have. Right. So it's like any any little bit of of nipple attention has been has been kind of it's like a direct line from my nipples to my clit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. But also, smoking pot has been getting me hornier than usual as well. So I I don't understand. And I, since I've been like feeling sick. I've just been like, my whole body's been feeling hot. So I, I don't know. I've just been, I've been a little revved up the past couple days. Okay. Okay. And you're, we were just talking about that whole uh, being sick and, yeah, and but, horny thing. But you, you're not like, like sick, sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just don't feel right. You know, you're co- you're still no. coughing, but you're fine. You know, you're not coughing constantly. Every once in a while, it'll sound like you're an 80 year old, like four pack a day smoker. Come here, honey. Here's something to hit the back of the back of the sink. Shoot. Hey, whatever. <laughs> I don't swallow everything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my porn pick of the week. Katie's porn pick of the week. Walgreens, I, I had picked up something. I'd ordered something online and picked it up the other day. And I... Now they they sort of advertise me all sorts of weird things. Okay, not well. I wouldn't say weird things, but just You're things that list. I wouldn't. I am on a list. They sent me sexy mother puckers, mm-hmm. <laughs> double XL pillow and plump oh. lip gloss. Okay. Right. So it's to make your your lips all uh, big and puffy and kind of give you an allergic reaction type sensation. Yeah, we put we put battery acid in there. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> when you see the bubbles, you know it's working. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's That's the scrubbing right. bubbles. The scrubbing bubbles. Such a strange. You know, you you would think that there would be some kind of like like lawsuit at some point. Somebody's gonna have a really bad reaction. Well, you know that that could happen. You didn't see the warning label on it. No, it's like no, I don't read. Those if you're all allergic that. to mono monochlorofluorohydrant, you should not take this product. Yeah, I know. What is that? That's a mouthful. That's, that's my point. Oh. Yeah. 
If you have to like, explain it, it just becomes light, wet, light, way less funny. To me, that sounds like something in water. Does isn't, it? Isn't there some? Isn't no, that like that something? Was, that's I in? was just putting things together. That oh. uh, it was nothing. Mm. Yeah, and I wasn't even doing it well. That's the really bad part. Well, that kind of rolls into this this story. This chick, she uh, she decided that she was going to give her her man anal for Valentine's Day. Give or receive? Receive. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I, I, I yeah, I have to specify that, but she she's, sure she let you do. She's right. Like, yes, I will uh-huh. let you fuck my ass. Okay. Well, she she definitely decided to. To prep for it, so she she grabbed a bottle of uh, of douche and she douched her butt. Give it to Flushy. Yeah, that's a, that's a very fucking polite thing to do. I I really think that it is too. Right, clear out the chamber before letting somebody put their you know cleaning rod in there. You know. Well, I don't. Uh, her boyfriend apparently didn't realize that uh, that she had done this already. So he went and he grabbed one and started to um, fist her with it. I mean, not fist her, but like hold but, her down and make her do a douche. No, he just shoved it in her and and gave it a squeeze. You know, squeeze it up her okay. butt. Okay, but then, okay, she didn't say what. Why are you unwrapping a douche right now? Maybe she didn't know. Maybe he. Maybe she he already unwrapped it. it and just came with it in the bedroom, already unwrapped, ready to. Fu- I don't know. Okay, I'm just trying to Doesn't, imagine the situation. It, it helps. You yeah, know? no, I'm sure it does. Right. Well, well. Anyway, he didn't wait for it to come out because he thought he didn't know that's what you do. And he went in and he's like, "Yeah, water's lube. Water's not lube." And he, and it was a, it was quite messy. <laughs> <laughs> and she was in a lot of pain because someone trying to fucking after you have an entire bottle of douche up your butt and then someone's like plug boom and then just like. Sh- Shoves it up there. Well, have you ever seen like when a doctor fills up fills up a syringe and then you know it's the same idea. You just there was still some in there. So when you shoved your plunger cock into her butthole, yeah, it just you know filled her up the other end. It's, mm-hmm. It started to go up, you know, north. <laughs> no. uh, Ew, it's uh, a reverse colonic. Uh, ew. ew. <laughs> oh, you know, there's someone out there going. Yeah. Yeah, we just do like, high. Oh, ew. It's a high pressure uh, fire hose is what we use. Um, it works better if you could get the direct connection to a city street hydrant. <laughs> really flushes your mouth out well. Flushes your mouth out well. <laughs> it's a true colon clan. I mean, I still want to know, like, I mean, she definitely knew he was doing this and she just went along with it. Maybe. She figured she would just get double double douche because she really didn't want to deal with, you know. Or yeah, it's like, okay, make sure that I'm clean, clean. That's fine. That's like, like, why would I, why would I bitch? Happened. Why would I complain? Had to have happened. Like, I'm not worried if I he's doing this to me because I've already taken care of it. I was like, you know, okay. whatever. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Or she took a really big load from the neighbor right before he got in there. Like, she was already full, Bukaki style. Oh. She was doing a little video. Yeah. No, yeah. that could have been. Getting her ready. Like, she's getting stretched out and prepped for him. Yeah, neighborhood so anal. Was, so she- 35. Could, there you go. <laughs> Nothing says Valentine's Day like a whole fucking- Neighborhood anal gangbang. Sure. Mm-hmm. Train. Everybody in the complex. woo Bring your identification card, please. You have yes. to swipe it at the door. That's right. Your key fob, too. Can we take your temperature? Yep. <laughs> There's a great product that's out for socially people like me where their their knees aren't as great as they used to be. What do you mean? Knees. <clears throat> you know the things that are that attach my that are in the middle of my legs, you know, they attach my my shin part to my thigh part, knees. Uh, head, shoulders. <clears throat> knees and toes? Uh-huh. Yeah. Knees and toes. Uh <clears throat> sorry. All right. So there's this like stool thingy dingy that's for um for riding, it's got uh, – it, it reminds me of when you go to a hotel and they have that that little like chair thingy that unfolds for your luggage. Like it's got – it opens up. It's like a, like one of those little side tables, but there's no top on it. It's just got two straps. Okay, no, but sure. I'll go along with what you're saying. I know I wasn't really paying attention to your description. I was just kind of staring at you. Okay, well picture picture a um like a bench, like right. a little but like a little stool. A little like stool. A, a little stool. Yeah, and like it's a got, squatty potty. And it's got two straps and you know, with a hole in the middle going going through the top of it. And right. you sit you sit on the straps and they're like bungee, so you bounce up and down on the cock. Right. Yeah. 
Hmm. So that's what I was saying for people who have like bad knees like me, oh, it's definitely a help so you don't get tired. Right. You can bounce and be comfortable at the same time. So it's like it just be like you're you're bouncing on a on a human bouncy ball. That'd probably help you out with your squirrely situation. That's what I'm saying. Your spasticness. See? I can limit your movement so you can't go fucking crazy. But not only that is you could put handles on it so you know Miss Break a tick. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> this lady was getting um, was getting some shit because she she went online and uh, she ripped out a part of the Bible asking wives to be submissive to their husbands and used it and rolled it into a joint and smoked weed. <laughs> People, People get like, really upset about that. They do. They're like, that's so sacrilegious. Oh, like, you well, can't do that. If you didn't want me to do shit to your holy book, why did you put it in a motel room that I'm in after a very long night of drug filled, you know, sex and debauchery right you're gonna put a bible in the room with me what are you doing who did that like what are you thinking you can't i mean you can't smoke in a hotel room but yet you can fucking jizz on every single thing that's in there and that's fine i'm just saying maybe maybe you ought not to leave it around me when i am fucked up maybe yeah yeah if you don't want me to do anything to it why is it just sitting there why is it literally the only thing that's in this room i mean you know i mean the only object i can pick up and walk around with other than a remote control i don't know and some shampoo <laughs> and little soaps a little soaps <laughs> maybe some lotion well so how did people know that she did this i mean she obviously like filmed it and put it on instagram right yeah i mean at that point you're just kind of you're just kind of pissing people off to piss people off Oh yeah, I right. mean she she was just trying to she was making a point and yeah she made about, a point. I will not honor shit. Yeah, that's like fuck you. I'm not gonna obey and submit to my husband. Right, but sure then you won't. Other people will. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they say you should never let your man leave the house hungry or horny because some bitches go to feed him and fuck him. <laughs> Is that what they say? I don't know. That's what oh, I've heard. Okay. <clears throat> Even if he's full and freshly laid, he's. You know, Sell up for a stop snack it. and a screw. Just saying. <laughs> if they, you know, if they can hit a drive through at a McDonald's on the way home and you Some know boobs catch a and blowy, a burger. right? <laughs> yeah, PJ and a burger, <laughs> right? It's been eyeballing the LP LP hooker that stands on the corner of OBT. Yeah, grab a little pussy to bring home. That's right. Mm -hmm. A little snack pack, like a like a White Castle burger. There you go. Uh huh. A little burger. Yeah. Mini burger. burger, mini burger. It's a slider. That's right. You just slide right in. That's right. <laughs> There's a lady. She she makes uh, crocheted cat toys yeah. that are supposed to look like fish. Bitch, these are butt plugs. <laughs> they're crocheted. They're not. But they're fish. you're literally pushing rope. And I mean, that's literal pushing rope. They're filled with catnip, and they, some of them what have about faces catnip into your butthole. But I don't make know. It tingle. You tell me this is a fish. Dude, that's definitely a, a, butt plug. a fishy looking butt plug. That's a butt plug. That is not a fish. Well, it's a, I would really, you know what I would say it was? It's a butt, butt plug koozie. Like it's what you store your butt plugs in. It's not an actual butt plug. <laughs> Even warm. That's your cover. Right. Keep yeah. it warm in the winter. Yeah. You don't want to just leave your fucking butt plugs I'll out expose. on the- I'll expose. I'm just saying you're Stuff shoving that in your butthole for crying out loud and maybe other people's buttholes. Could be everywhere. I mean, sometimes you're putting that up your keister for like eight hours at a time. You want it clean. And like after you've sanitized it, you want to make sure it stays that way in it like a single fresh wrapper. Yeah. Right. Single serving. It's like, look what Granny made. Uh-huh. <laughs> granny, can I have seven of them? I need one for each day of the week. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you can get them as little gifts. Okay. Or gifs. No. Well, Either that way. Wasn't what I was going with there. There's a there's a hot dog restaurant that is that put up a, a sign. They're advertising a hot dog with two uh, hot dogs in the bun. Right. And it says, let those wieners DV? touch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little little docking. <laughs> they're side by side. Wien wieners touch. So yeah, they're they're all about letting the wieners touch. Do a little friction fire. That's just just DV, really. <laughs> Put two wieners in your bun. Ooh, mm -hmm. double wiener mm -hmm. in the hole. Well, you've 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 had grandma's fucking uh, butt plug 
uh, covers. Crazy. Right. So you've been work, working that thing out. You can put all kinds of dick in that hole now. Yeah, I'm sure you can. The stretching girl could. There. <laughs> Still want to put my dick in her cervix. There's a calendar for, uh, for it's called Chicken Daddies. Chicken daddies, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And these are deeper chicken daddy. These are daddies who uh, apparently own chickens or are just posing with chickens on farms. <laughs> now, some girls like some chickens. Well, I, I don't know if they're quite for girls. Chickens are sexy. Ooh. Okay. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Some of them. Some of them look like they're more geared to be like. <clears throat> it's homoeroticism, <clears throat> but you know, I'm a daddy. Right, could but, be. But some women are like, fuck yeah. It's definitely deeper chicken daddy. <clears throat> deeper chicken daddy. Give me that chicken finger. <laughs> chicken daddy. <laughs> well, when you're flamboyantly gay and you live in Iowa. <laughs> well, you know, you got to do something. Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, whatever. You got to pose with what's around you. Sure. I think it's cute. Here's me and my hoe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a tractor. <laughs> uh, corniest person I think I've ever met. Eh, whatever. Uh, You're used to it. I am. All right, let's go to the episode of Rule 34. And when we come back, we're going to have a brand new Tits Man. We are also going to have um, another little accident that happened and some life choices. So stick around. And welcome back to Kinky Katie's World, Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKatieRadio.com and RadioCast.net. You can get me on the Twitter later at Kinky Katie Radio, KinkyKatieRadio.com, KinkyKatieRadio at gmail.com. You can also Google me because I like it. And you can also see me on YouTube. So go check me out. Uh, 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 uh. I like this. Right. I did. Royalty free music, believe it or not. <laughs> At least supposedly. Theoretically. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. There there was there's a curling team. They got in a lot of trouble <coughs> over over the Olympics. Did they did they fail a drug test? Mm, there was a they were sponsored by a Dutch sex toy company, <laughs> and they were trying to put a a um a, like a non explicit logo under the ice, you know, under their their on their little curling yeah, on their little curling aisle or whatever you call it lane. You know, that that. Pitch. Sure. Well, people were like, uh-uh, you can't do that in Japan. No, no. not at all. But no. Even if it's in a different language, maybe they don't understand. It's Dutch. Well, I mean, you speak Dutch, really. Yeah, but I don't see why Japan, because Japan, it, you know, they're pretty open about sex. Like, it's- It just depends on what- kind of in the culture. What, like well, yeah, sort of, in a way. They don't really like foreigners doing any kind of shit that'll cause any kind of a, a stir. Really. You know what I mean? What do you mean in Japan and China? China. Okay. China. Yeah, I don't know where Beijing is. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the Summer Olympics were in Japan. Recently, at least. It was it was within a year, you know, last summer. So you're at least close. <laughs> China's that big country, honey. It's over there. It's the mainland. I'm over there not in Asia. a smart woman. Right. Whatever. Hey. <laughs> I try. So, so big, big shot. You know what it is? Their logo was a big, uh, giant Winnie the Pooh bear. It, that was the problem. Oh, that could have been. Could have been. You know, stick my shit in your honey pot. A Pooh bear with a fucking ball gag on. Mm. Yeah. That could be. Ball gag all, all trussed up like a turkey. Uh, oh, trust up Turkey Pooh Bear. It's Tigger the ball give, gag. Tigger giving him the what for? I can see why they <laughs> would, wouldn't want that. Sorry. <laughs> Little piglets in a gimp outfit, <laughs> getting into it. You know, well, you know, but people people can't even like. I don't even know what they don't al- allow you to do in China, but it's stuff. It's definite stuff. Can't listen to us. They're not allowed, but probably I. I don't even know. Speaking of over there, I had I had made um I had made a comment a long time ago to uh, Connor uh, C V dot C dog V A. Correct. Which is a uh, Connor. He's a he's the British YouTuber, VTuber, streamer, Twitch guy. Anyway, that you've been infatuated with, right? So I just made a and someone so like, aren't you married? I was like, <laughs> yeah. I mean. I'm very open. I mean, SC knows. 
<laughs> We've even talked funny. about it on the show, so it's pretty funny. It's not like I, I, I'm. I've actually encouraged messaging people, being like, "Hey, don't tell my husband." But- I mean, I've, I've actually encouraged you to, to, yeah, Sea Dog. That, that's the kind of guy I expect you to like. <laughs> not Brian O'Halloran, really. I like, I like different things. Okay. I mean, I, I, I like. I mean, you still can't understand why I like Matt Lauer either. No, well, I mean, yeah, but at least, at least. I can understand why a girl would be into the Sea Dog VA. I mean, he's not like stereotypically Chad like or anything like that, but he's a reasonably attractive dude. He it's seems really nice and his very his, personable. Yeah, he's he's yeah, and also his accent does not hurt. Right. <laughs> right. A British accent. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So and you add that into the overall homoeroticism that he exudes, the fact that he is really into women your age. Yeah, it kind of it just it's there's a lot of factors that are in there that are all so, kind of I mean, I would totally encourage that. What do, you, <laughs> what do you mean? Does your husband? Yes, I know. And I approve. And also, he's in Japan. Yeah, big fan oh, of Jojo. Yeah. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm really. How can you, you go get wrong? Get gayer than that. I'm <laughs> just saying that's right up your alley. Stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're totally into a a nice British twink. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's your style, and, which is weird because it's not usually my my go to type. Like what tw- do you mean, Twinkie dudes? Uh, well, you know not, what I mean. But he's not really twinky, twinky. I mean, he's he's would be like a burly twink. And he is not burly at all. I'm just saying, all British guys kind of have a, an effeminateness. Really. I've seen him in a woman's one piece. He is um, yes. not burly. Well, you know, he's skinny. He's just, he, he grows a beard, is what I'm saying. So most of the time, so he can be a little rugged. I guess I don't know. He moved to Japan. He's adventurous. <laughs> he's traveled. Right. He's, he's cultured. <laughs> right. Does your husband know? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you can tweet at him if you want. You do it. I mean, God. He doesn't really look at his Twitter, but, you know. No. Good luck with that. That's all right. He'll see it in about three years and go, hey, look at that. that some dude fucking oh. messaged me asking me if I knew that you were talking about yes. Yes. Uh-huh. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, there was this guy. He was in, he was a fr- when he was a freshman in college. He um he wanted to give uh, I mean he wanted his girlfriend in his dorm. No, he wanted his girlfriend to give him head. Right. And then uh, she didn't really know how to do it. Well, he said, pretend that it's an ice cream cone and play with his balls. Now this is someone who's never never given a blowjob before. Okay. In college. Okay. And he's like, play with my balls. Now, for someone who's even been around balls before, you sometimes get absolutely fucking paranoid and you're like, do not even look at my nuts. That's right. You we've talked about your hand eye coordination. Well, this is sometimes you zig when you should zag. I was just about to say that because this is the exact story of a zig and zag when you shouldn't have story. Right. She ended up getting her nose broken. <laughs> hey, was he eating any of that African fly? <laughs> Not well, that I know of. I mean, maybe he was just so diamond rock hard that how could you blame him? As the kids he are... just turned around real quick and it just, you know. As the kids are saying, they're all bricked up. They're all bricked up, all shattered her nose. Bricked up. <laughs> See, that's a term that makes sense to me. You go, yeah, no, it does. Immediately, ours. first time you hear I'm bricked up, you know exactly what that means. Yeah. No, I, 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 but, but in my head, I'm picturing like Legos. <laughs> because the only people that I hear say that are like that. Uh, every time it. you say bricked up, I'm thinking of your cock as a little tiny Lego. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> well, their little hands are shaped like this anyway. <laughs> right. They're happy. <laughs> It it was in the decision room of the engineers when they made up the little doll. You yeah. know, how are they going to jerk off? They have to have, make a C clamp thing because somebody. There has to be masturbation in Lego Land because even the women, the women's got to jerk off the dudes. <laughs> That's about what I'm what, saying. Forget about what they say. Well, that you know, maybe. Well, but maybe their their boobs are those little Lego knobs, so that it like fits right over perfectly. The little Lego knobs, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> 
incredible. All bricked up. Yeah, all mm. bricked up. <laughs> it's gonna be the new the new section in Legoland. <laughs> it's Legos after dark. All bricked up. Yeah. Special it, section. It it for some reason I just it seems like uh penises are getting smaller and i said penises because really it, when i'm talking about a ween i you know i want to <laughs> say i want to refer to it in a clinical sense micro peen <laughs> you, you know a- you know i i feel like they're getting smaller as the years go on i don't know why maybe that's just me uh, all the dick that i see is just a lot smaller than it used to be <laughs> I remember back in my day, the dick was so big. So big. In comparison to the average body size, absolutely. What? We were like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Little tiny dudes and big giant dicks. Well, we were. So was, yeah, 1900s. Well, we were. Everybody had a third leg. Not these days. No, sir. Everybody's well, it's looking still a third leg, but you're like 6'5", so it just doesn't, you know, mm. your leg will break up. Mm. Well, here is a question for you. It says, uh, there was a guy that approached me. I really thought I was going to get mugged. I was starting to get nervous, but then he said, I will pay you $500 to let to let me go down on you. Right. So would okay. you? It says, would you do it? <clears throat> so okay. Like on. if some dude, okay, some dude came no, up to you no, and said, not, "Here's no. five hundred bucks. Can I suck your dick?" No, you know how many guys have asked to blow me just in general. They weren't offering any money though. Okay, they probably would have if Whore. they knew if they knew that that five hundred dollars would have gotten it done. They might have gone for <laughs> it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, really, I. Uh, what? Probably not, unless I really wanted my dick sucked. Then just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Know, I, I don't know if I was a dude, I probably would. I don't know. It didn't, doesn't, it doesn't say. It doesn't have any was, other details. If I was drinking, I probably would. I'm sure you could make up an entire scenario in which you could talk yourself into getting it done. Oh well, yeah. Or, if I was drinking, if 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 I'm if I'm altered in any way, shape, or form, mm-hmm. I might just say okay. I might just say okay for free. If if I was fucked up, I'd be like or whatever. <laughs> It's your mouth. Right. I don't care. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but on one condition <laughs> to completion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want you leaving me. Well, I don't have balls. to specify that. What do you mean? I don't have to specify that. Yeah, I know. They, they I'm want gonna to jerk s- off and throw it at you if you if you don't. So I can smell you. It won't <laughs> it's not gonna bother me at all. <laughs> it's not like like I'm I'm incapable. I'm totally capable. Because yeah. now now we're having an embarrassing situation. <laughs> for you, really, not for me. No, not for me. No. no. <laughs> I'm not even there. I'm not in the splash zone. I'm okay. I'm not, I got my vis queen. Not in there. Gotta have it. Um, Another one says, uh, this guy asked me if he could, well, it was, I was dating him at the time, asked me to hold his, um, hold his flaccid dick in my mouth while I'm on my knees looking up at him saluting him and say captain my captain without taking his dick out of my mouth oh, that's a book that's a book quote captain my yes, captain it is. captain my captain yeah I don't know remember what book it was from but it, it was, was a very dead popular. poet society or it was yeah but they yeah, were talking yeah, yeah. about it as a literary quote no 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 yeah yeah yeah, Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause no, some... no no wow 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 <laughs> Super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> and I, he had some confidence that he could keep a flaccid cock in in a mouth. Well, maybe he could. Maybe he's. Well, maybe he was. Maybe he was right. not interested in in her sucking dick. He's just like, I have to do something. I want to see if she'll actually do it, and then that's throw most it. of it. With stuff like that, is is not even what you're doing. It's the fact that you got that somebody you can to get, do it. Yeah. It's right. like, I cannot believe. <laughs> I've definitely done a ton of things that were just because I came up with it. And I was like, I don't know. Let me see if she's willing to do it. You want to X, Y, and Z? Really? Wow. I really didn't want to do that. But now I feel like I have to. I feel obligated. I really feel obligated. It's like, now. well, if you didn't want to do it, you shouldn't have brought it up. No, you're right. I always follow through. No, I'll, I know I'll you I'll jam do. on. I'll be like, sure. Okay. Yeah. We're we're getting a visqueen now. <laughs> No, because I, I remember there's been a couple times where I'm surprised I do remember, but I've looked at you and be like, 
okay. Because <laughs> in, right. my, in my head, I'm like, chicken with me. Yeah, my head's like, he's not going to do it. <laughs> what? And then I'm like, okay. He's definitely going to do it. We're doing this. Right. You said yes. <laughs> Both of us are like, <laughs> I don't want to do it. Yes means yes. <laughs> And no sometimes means yes. <laughs> no, yes is the only thing that means yes. What mm-hmm. are you saying? No, negative. You can't do that. No, I would never do that. That's more your style. Hmm. You're very aggressive. Uh, yeah, I'm extremely aggressive. Uh-huh. Like I'm, I'm not good aggressive. Like I will never be on SNL aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like staff writer at CNN aggressive, but I mean, I could still run for office. <laughs> what? No, of course, yeah, I could. The way things are going, yes, I could. <laughs> I'm not even worried anymore. But do I want to do it? No. So it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's go to your favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. Boobs in and on the news. It's time once again for Tits, 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 tits Man. Today's Tits Man you can find on Twitter at Bouncy Big Boobs. Bouncy Big Boobs? Bouncy Big Boobs. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much for all your big bouncy booby needs. If you want to go see some gigantic tits with some chobers and whatnot, you need to go check out their Twitter. It's at Bouncy Big Boobs. Check them out. That's tits. I'm working on it right now. It's uh, big bo- oh, they're all B O U N C Y B I G B O O B S. Yeah, I mean, so there's a, it's a boot, a boot compilation. It is. They they take all they take all the big titties out of the feeds and uh, retweet them. So right. they've got a nice variety of big old titties. They do. They do from around the world. I the think universe. It's, I think it's funny because I think I ran across them because they they used one of mine. <laughs> so I think I'm on there somewhere. It could out. be. We're not sure. Mm. But these titties are much bigger than my titties. Right. So. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> right. I'm looking at him right now. Well. <clears throat> well. Tits, 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 tits man. So that's my tits man for that. There was something interesting that I mean, we, we've talked a lot about women uh, masturbating and stuff like that. Just throwing it all up. In general. In coach- yeah, in general. Different ways, different places. Well, these different are, things. These are different things that women confess to having weird items that they've used to masturbate with. Okay. We've talked about a few that you've put up a morphous or two. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I totally admit that I've done some weird shit, but, but this is some stuff that I wouldn't even think of or, you know, I really, I mean, I'd have access to, but I would have to like go and get it. Just really wouldn't occur to you to do any of these t- for the most part. No, which surprises me a little bit because some, some of them, it's like, how could I have not? No, just because it never occurred to you. There was a chick when she was younger, she used a Tickle Me Elmo, which I completely you understand. We were just talking about that last week. Yeah. said something about the Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> so. That's, right. That's that's an easy one. Well, you just haven't had access to it. But you were, if if somebody said, hey, I have a Tickle Me Elmo, could you do something with it sexually? You'd be like, fuck yeah, it vibrates. Like, and it giggles. Ah! <laughs> that tickles. Shut up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can really picture myself having fun with that. <laughs> a gold, a wiggling goldfish in a plastic bag, like uh, like one that you won at the fair, like who went oh. through the ball, got a jar, got a goldfish in a bag, and and used that. You know. Yeah. Did you ask permission from the goldfish? Well, so it I- stuck it your cock in its. Mm-mm. No, not that. No, it's a she. She took the bag. Oh, and just put it and on shoved, there. And shoved it into her cooch. She liked the feeling of the water, like, uh, sloshing in and out. Like, it was halfway and halfway. Uh-huh. And then the fish swimming in there. Like, she could feel it, like, hitting the sides of the bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. I, I, who am I to judge? Well, I don't know. I mean, you're not hurting you're, anybody. I, well, except for the fish. Fish isn't getting hurt. The fish is in a bag. Right. It's not in the coochie. I'm just saying you're doing you're 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 doing. We, anytime you're involving animals, you're you know. Come on, what are you doing? It's what like are you a, doing? you're not a, you're 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 reenacting like Joan and the Whale or something. I mean, if it was 1875 or something. Swallowed. No, I'm not. I'm swallowed. <laughs> like if we're in the Renaissance and you got to do what you got to do because there's not a lot of technology. Fine, fine. People do things, but. but I like to go to the creek and stick eels in my pussy. We have all kinds of Uh, orgasm technology for a lady. 
you know, people with lady parts, it, this is, uh, this is an era in which you don't have an excuse to where I need to stick goldfish in my twat in order to get off. Well, these people do apparently. What happens when that bag pops? You're killing a fish. You're a fish killer. Not really. Fish killer. Well, what if she eats it? I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Actually, I really don't care about goldfish at all. However, I can see somebody caring about the goldfish. Of course, someone's going to care about the goldfish. And I kind of do have an animals, a non-animal policy when it comes to an orgasm. Yeah. You know, like an animal just should not be involved with your nut. Like they should be two things that, that there is no Venn diagram that they overlap in. Well, what about the people that are into having bugs crawl on them and that gets them off? See, I mean, what, you're still you're an not, animal. You, I but mean, you're not you're sticking your dick on anything. Okay. I, you know. Unless the bugs are crawling on you. I dick. mean, really, I don't. I Here again, I really don't give a shit, to be honest with you, one way or another. However, I can see people having... I, you know, if you're being fair about fairness, just involving non uh, Cute. non human <laughs> things in your orgasm. Yeah, don't do it. Just well, you know, I mean, well, bugs. No, 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 though, no, no, no. You let a bug crawl on your dick. I don't know. I don't see how you're hurting anybody there. You can have non human things, just not living non human. You know what I mean? Like, so you got to murder them first. No. Like, what do you mean? No, what do you no, mean? No, 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 what no. are you saying? If if it if it's got blood inside of it, don't do it. Like, people are into, if like, fucking trees. You can fuck a tree. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Fuck a tree. Those, 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 like, uh... Th- I mean, they're alive, but yeah. they're not really alive. <laughs> they scream when you cut them. I mean, I guess if you're letting bugs, you just crawl on you. Okay. You're just letting know. bugs crawl on you. I don't know. I'm just saying you're, you're getting, you're getting to the point to where if you're, even though it's a goldfish and really... It deserves about better. The, I mean, the goldfish was dead the second it, a carny bought it. You know, it ah. knew right away. It looked up and saw Bob the fucking Carney. Fuck. Right. <laughs> Wonder how long it's going to take. Am I going to die here? Or am I going to get fucking picked up by some psycho kid? Just like, shake him up. Shake him the bag. Some lady just going to put me in her vag until she can, you know. And then feed me to her cat. Little goldfish cream pie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Good lord. Uh, there was a dude who used to fuck up a, a snake plush toy. So it was yeah, it was yeah. stuffed animal. Okay. Oh my god. I mean that sounds like a good a good fifi koozie. Yeah, well on this list, you'll never <laughs> fucking guess. Hedgehog. Lego dildo. Lego dildo what well, sure. Right. Glue it together. Make sure you don't lose pieces. Oh, yeah, because you want to make that's just like um any yeah. kind like anal beads or stuff like that. You want to count how many you have going in so you know how many's coming out with like frozen grapes you stick up your puss too. You can just But yeah, you're like there should be five. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did uh, you just eat that thing? I think you're making wine. <laughs> I'm grashing it with my pussy. Right. It's I mean, so the, strong. Yeah, I don't know how counting I mean, would you really count? I don't ever remember counting an anal bead. I know. Really? I never remember doing anything like that ever. Like, Which, oh, that's a four beater. I don't know. I shoved the whole thing up there. I think it's, I mean, it's in my hand, so I guess it's all out. I don't see any frayed ends on it, so I don't think anything popped off by accident. I don't really know, though. Oh, to be honest God. with you. Well, don't these things usually come in two? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's just a fun trick to play with your partner. Yeah. Yeah, real fun. Uh huh. <laughs> Wasn't there five beads on this one? It's like, oh, Jesus. Because you know the other person has no idea how many beads was on that anal bead string you had. No, unless they're the size of like softballs, then they're like, you know, every single one. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe you can go back into some orgasm memory, like, like s- Dune style. <laughs> <laughs> the spies. Anyway, that's really true. Ter- There's uh, someone, at, and I've heard this a couple times. That some girls have pretty much they have well basically they have fucked their uh, bedpost the top of their bedpost. Okay, I can see that happening too. Uh, how, uh, how depends on the bedpost. Maybe you're not doing insertion. Maybe you're just doing a grind. No. M- yeah. Maybe you're doing insertion. Maybe you're not. If you got a big, big lumpy knobby, yeah, that's just a knobby. Then you're just doing a grindy grind. Or, or maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe they're like, nope. <laughs> 
Yeah, they could be doing. I'm sure people have done that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've sure. seen pictures. Quite common. Quite common. Quite common. Quite well, you're common. you're a girl. What you never thought about? You never had a bed with a bed post, have you? No. Because you definitely would have sat on. You would have probably tried to put a dildo on it or something. Really? Uh, Maybe strap it to the side and like uh, back up into it or something. I, I, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, you'll suction cup a dildo to a door and fuck yourself with a closet door. Yeah. Right. right yeah. That's different. But okay, how? What do you mean? How you, would, you wouldn't put you would you would suction cup a dildo to a door? However, you don't see the potential of you wanting to just take a dildo, shove it on a bedpost, and just go on it. Let's say that bedpost was it was a low bed that was at the right height to you, where you just literally squatty potty. Your your you have your little contraption that you showed me earlier, right? And that's the height of the of the bedpost, and you're just doing a bouncy bouncy. Well, I was going to say, let's think about this for a minute and think about who we're talking about here. We're talking about me. Now, I am one of the most klutzy people, accident prone, you've probably ever met. So at some point, if I were to take a dildo and stick it on the top of a bedpost, even if it was a low bed, and I start to go bouncy, bouncy on it, go and climb up on that thing, regardless <coughs> if there is that that um, little saddle bouncy contraption to go along with it, mm -hmm. I can almost <coughs> guarantee you that I will get injured somehow. <coughs> Which is almost doubling the chances that you would do it. I mean, for the mere fact that Danger. it's such a... For the mere fact that it's such a horrible idea, you would definitely be thinking about doing it. <laughs> You always think about the worst ideas to do first, like stuff like that, where you'd be like, what? It just seemed like a normal thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess so, but- The I fact that it is dangerous is what I'm saying. That totally increases the chances of you doing it. It's more exciting that way. Something. Helps get me off more. Right. Anyway. <clears throat> right. Well, the last one I'll tell you about is uh, this chick, she used a toy Gandalf- like a Gandalf figurine. You shall not pass. But you shall come. <clears throat> so, yeah, it wasn't no little hobbit, but uh, she took her little brother's toy and she used it to shove in her cave. Wow. Like the Gandalf fucking, the Gandalf uh, staff or something? No, it was the, it was the whole toy. Whole toy. Whole, uh, just a the Gandalf. The whole figurine. Yeah, a Gandalf. She used like, and just and just used it to shove in her cave. He was in pointy. Hobbit he had a pointy hat. Well, it was tapered. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So maybe she went in with it. <laughs> stabby. She wanted stabby. She didn't want blunt. She wanted stabby. That's really hurt something in my body. She wanted to make sure she had a graduated entry, you know, something that would cone its way in. Yeah, yeah, you know. She was doing some cervix sounding. Oh, God. Oh. I really, for some reason. You I, want to stick I, your dick I, in there. I really do. I, you know, if I met her, I would have to ask, hey. You think I could fuck that cervix? Well, if she says yes, go ahead. Really? Yo, yes. You have my wow. full permission. I'm saying it on on camera wow. right now. You have my absolute full permission. If fuck you, that cervix. If you find a chick that has a, a good looking pussy and can do that, mm -hmm. go for it. And if she says yes, sure. Fuck, fuck yeah. that cervix. <laughs> fuck that cervix. Oh, it, 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 to me, in, in my head, it makes me think of when when girls put their ponytail really tight, and then you kind of like wiggle your finger and stick it through the middle, like it feels like tight. Like that's what. It, it, well, it seems like you would like stick your way. dick in there at some point, but you never end up doing it because it's never really a good idea. Mm. I mean, you're thinking of all the places you could put your your your, your dick. You're not thinking there. No, I'm not. No. I don't no. think many are. I think it's, uh, a, I think it's a very oh, low percentage, though. I, you know, yes, people there, are. there are Mormon out there that are definitely doing that. Of course. I mean, because that's not actual sex, and I didn't have anything to he whatever. No, he, I he just put his dick in my in my ponytail. <laughs> little little hide the ponytail that's in right. the dick dick in the ponytail trick. <laughs> Stick the ponytail trick. It's, Gets we, him every time. We learned it on the road, witnessing. You know. All right, guys, we are going to get out of here for the evening. So I hope you guys had fun with me tonight. I had some fun. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekday commute, trip, whatever it is that you're doing at the moment. Do you have anything for me, Essie? Well, oh, your movie's out. 
Kill Cam. Uh, yes, Kill Cam is out and it's available. You can go to my Twitter and my Facebook to uh, to get the links. We're also posted on the show notes. Um, yeah, uh, I'm filming soon. A couple movies coming up for me, and I'm gonna go see a man about a bear tomorrow. Roar. <laughs> So, uh, Bach, I will see you, and I will give everybody details when I come back. So, kiss my pimper, tell me bye. Bye-bye. I like tacos and burritos.